Where Hawaii Eats is brought to you by the Honolulu Star Advertisers Dining Out, Cisco Hawaii, Outrigger Hotels and Resorts, Gather Federal Credit Union, Royal Sonesta Kauai Resort, and Kauai Visitors Bureau. Headed to the Surf Jack, going to go meet with Christian Talby. He is the bar aficionado at Mahina and Sons. We're gonna make some cocktails. Come on, let's go. Welcome to Where Hawaii Eats. We are at Mahina and Sons. We're actually going to be doing something called Where Hawaii, What Hawaii Drinks. We're with Christian Tyree, and you are the master cocktail aficionado of Mahina and Sons. Is that correct? It's close, yeah. Thank you. Well, I want to learn how to make these drinks. So I'd like you to create a couple of concoctions with some of Chef Eric's food pairings. And I'd like you to start with, what's the first one you want to start with? I think a Singapore sling might be a good one to start okay. with. Okay, what glass would you like me to give you? I think those two tall ones would be okay. great. So we'll start off with Kuku Jin, something that comes from Maui. It's a very fantastic spirit. They do multiple spirits. We'll get to the whiskey later. Okay. Uh, but the Kuku Jin, we're gonna do about an ounce, which is basically right to the top. I'm gonna drop that in. Your turn. So you use a lot of local local beverages, like local sources, local spirits? We try to whenever we can. It's really important that we just, uh, it's really important that we kind of stay local. I mean, I think nowadays it's really important that we go with as many things that we can find locally as we can, just, just for the state and, and for what we're doing. And especially after the, you know, after the pandemic and stuff, it's nice to help everyone out. You know, we that's, could all help each other. That's great. Uh, next, we're going with an Italian liqueur called Luxardo Cherry. We're gonna do a half ounce of this. So basically it's that line right there. So, okay. You drop that right in. There you go, sir. Cheers. There you go. After this, we're gonna go with something that you might have found on your grandparents' closet. This is called Benedictine. This has been around for a very long time. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Really? Yeah. It's very herbaceous, I'm gonna <laughs> It's very herbaceous, and this thing really, when used right, has an incredible flavor. Uh, this, we're gonna do the same line, the half ounce Half line. ounce. You drop that in there. <clears throat> Thank you. After that, we're just gonna sweeten it up just a little bit with a little bit of simple syrup. What we do with our simple syrup is we use a demerara sugar, which has got a lot of molasses flavor. So we don't like to just add sugar to a cocktail, we like to add flavor to a cocktail. So this one has a lot of nice dark notes to it. So we're using again the same, the same amount. Perfect. It's, oh, it's very, very light. It's not sticky. No, not at all. <clears throat> we like to make them rich, but perfect. Uh, so we don't wanna use this end. Oh, uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit more giving. Well, we want to put the booze in that side. Okay. But anyway, we're going to go with a lemon. Same amount as well. It's half ounce. Half yep. ounce. Okay. For this is all made in-house. This yes, is everything is fresh. Okay. So the way we, we the way we like to think about our drinks is to be as, as uh, efficient as possible because we understand that people are on vacation, they just, they want their drinks, they want to have their sure. good time. So the longer we wait, the harder it is for them to, to immerse themselves in that dream, you know? Yeah. Uh, from there, we're going to take some ice. Okay. We'll drop that in. Drop that on top. Hit that puppy. Ready? Yeah, let's go. You ready? Ready. Go. Go. You're far more graceful. So after we do that, we'll give it a little tap. She's done this before, folks. We're gonna drop that in right there. into the glass. What Look. happened? No, you're perfect. You're perfect. So how are we gonna top that? I think I just put some more ice cubes. You can put some more ice cubes. You want to put more ice cubes? No. <laughs> we should buy some more ice cubes. There you go. Perfect. Now it's even. So now what we're going to do is we're going to top this with a nice 
bit of bubble, a little seltzer water. Nice, very nice. Looks very refreshing. And we're gonna drop these guys in there, which gives you that motion to actually blend your drink as you're drinking it. I'm gonna top it with a couple of flowers. All right. Very and cool. just on top, to make sure that we get that lemon freshness. We're just going to give a little bit of spritz, kind of drop them like a leaf under the flower. That looks pretty impressive. There you have your Singapore okay. slings. That's impressive. Okay, so I think someone should taste test this to see who should get better. Boy, who's the lucky fella? Or late. Anyone? Any takers? How about we try those? Okay, we're gonna just try I think it. we should try them. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Last cocktail is going to be the biggest, best one that you can bring to the table. We have a cocktail we like to call the Kokiko. It's our Hawaiian take on an old fashioned. This thing is phenomenal. It's actually impressed us as far as its popularity. Oh, great. Because it is very simple and we, we, we love simplicity, okay. but at the same time, it works out beautifully, right? Let's make it, let's make it. We like to start with something oh, the that we like to call the coconut water ice cube. Look at the ice cube. That's beautiful. So it's coconut kind of water like and actually it as, it, air? as it dissolves, <laughs> it actually evolves a cocktail. It makes it more smooth, right? So what we're gonna do is- Where did you grab that from? All of a sudden it just appeared. We have magic behind here. Did I not tell you this? <laughs> we're gonna go with uh, just a dash of cinnamon, right? So that's just basically like a, can you do a? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> now we have some tiki bitters that we make in house. We're gonna drop about five or six dashes in there. So a lot of the stuff you guys make in-house. Yeah, we find that it's better than yeah. in-source everything. Do, do it best we can. We're using something called Kupu Whiskey. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. We get this out of Maui. The same guys that bring you Maui Brewery. Uh, this thing really impressed the hell out of me when, when, when we learned it, and we've been using it ever since. So basically, we'll use a two-ouncer of this. Oh, the other side. There's your other side. So we're gonna use two ounces. So we're just gonna give that a little bit of ice. Is it? Yeah, that's basically wow, it. Wow, that's such a clean, easy cocktail. But now we get to take our trusty wands out. Our trusty wands and give it a little bit of a stir. You're doing it like Harry Potter. <laughs> very cool. How are you doing it? Okay. I think we're good. Now we're gonna take our strainers. Oh. Right on top. Okay. But first, Ooh. let's give it a little Aromatics. Zest. It's gonna give a little bit of a ginger, of a, excuse me, grapefruit zest. Very cool. That's that's rare to see grapefruit zest. Exactly. You're gonna express all that in, and that's giving you that little bitter aspect that plays very nicely with the cinnamon and the whiskey. And then you pour. That is picture perfect, is it not? That's crazy. <laughs> there. And if you'll indulge me. Okay, this is something fruits of our labor. Cheers. Such a pleasure. Thank you. This is pretty good. Yeah, so this good. would be something that you would pair with Chef Eric's. So we have a beautiful chocolate tart with a uh, lily koi curd that goes on top. That's really perfectly balanced with this sort of thing. You get you get the, the, the bitter, you get the sweet, you get the spice, and then paired with a beautiful chocolate tart. It's wonderful. So you would encourage a guest to, when they order this, to be order that chocolate tart as well. We're looking to end your night with a smile. That's exactly what we're, what we're attempting to do with this one. Well, that is something definitely, I think many of your guests will definitely try. Where Hawaii Eats is brought to you by the Honolulu Star Advertisers Dining Out, Cisco Hawaii, Outrigger Hotels and Resorts, Gather Federal Credit Union, Royal Sonesta Kauai Resort, and Kauai Visitors Bureau.